Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're talking about a cheap solar panel uh, camping shower. Are they worth it? Are they just a complete waste of money? Now, by a solar panel, it's got a black front and a white back. So the idea behind it is you set up camp, you leave it at the campsite in the sun, um, allows the water to heat up so you've got a nice hot shower come night time. Now I've been doing this shirtless, but if you guys want to see that, click below for my OnlyFans account if you guys want to check that out. Yeah. Actually, no, that's not true. That's I'm not doing that, guys. But today we're going to be reviewing and testing out this camping shower. It was from Kmart. It's about ten dollars. I think it's eight dollars fifty. Um, so the idea behind it is, it's a twenty-liter camping shower. So it's actually got a quite a decent amount of water inside it that it will hold. And the idea behind it, it's got a little loop um, on the top of it there. It's also got a few strings on it as well. So you can either tie it to a tree, or you can just hook it onto either your side awning or your reflex of your Jeep, which is actually really convenient. So buy a solar panel, you leave it out in the sun by the afternoon, by dinner time, you've got a nice hot shower. But are they actually worth it? Does it create enough pressure um, from the gravity inside it to be able to have a decent shower? Um, so let's get a little bit wet and try it out. So I wish I had maybe like a heat gun or something, or not a heat gun, a thermometer or something to actually check the temperature of this I actually I know because I've used it before I'm um, out in the belt uh, a few times to tell you that it actually does heat up quite a lot in summer of course it's got a black front it's going to heat up the water that's inside it oh boy um, so it, it will heat up it does get hot it's not boiling or hot it's not like a shower you've got at home but having that slightly warm or lukewarm shower a uh, hot shower can just be a nice thing to do um, when you're out camping especially when you've got kids so would this be ideal for someone that's out for a couple days? Probably not. Uh, one, as you'll see in a minute, it doesn't have a lot of pressure behind it. So you're not going to get 100% clean and I'm going to get all that dirt and grime off you. But having this for single day trips, um, afternoons and stuff like that, if you're just out for one night, would be perfect. Because all it is, I'll demonstrate on my son because he's the perfect candidate for this. So it's got an on off switch there and you pretty much just let the gravity do the work. You don't get wet. Now, let it come out. So that's pretty much it. Maybe actually let the gravity come out. The idea is the higher you put it, the better it's going to be. So, what do you think about that? You like it? As you guys can see, it's perfect for, um, like it's got a steady stream of water coming out of it because it's up high with gravity and stuff like that. It's working quite well. All right, he's getting a bit wet. Let's turn that off. All right, so as you can see, he's wet. Shh, my wife's not gonna be happy about this. So it's got a steady stream of water actually coming out of it. It's quite good. As I said before, it will heat up quite well in the sun if you are after a decent shower um, at night time. Now, I would recommend this sort of shower, this cheap option for one night stay, maybe two. Because it doesn't have a, a big leader, it doesn't have a high pressure system in it, that you won't get all the dirt and grime. But if you just hit, say, the beach, you want to get that salt water, that griminess off you um, before you hop in your tent, before you hop in your car, wherever you might be camping. This would be perfect. It falls down really easy without any water in it. Uh, you can either put salt water if you want in it. You probably don't. Why did I say that? That's horrible. Um, if you've got one of those big water jugs, um, just fill it up, lay it out in the sun, it will heat up. Um, as you've just seen, it's got a... My sun's completely wet now. It's got a nice steady stream of water coming out of it. So, as I said, perfect for all those one, maybe two night trips that you want to get all that nasty dirt and grime. It's probably not enough to soak in, maybe leave that for when you get home. But one or two nights, absolutely perfect. Well worth the money, 10 bucks, chuck it in the Jeep. Doesn't take up any room. Um, you can hook it up to a tree, the side of your Jeep, 
uh, roof racks, side awnings, a branch, something like that. The higher the better. Um, obviously the higher it is, the better stream of water you will get. Uh, so that's perfect. Uh, lightweight, cheap. Uh, I think $8.50 from Kmart. If you guys want to check that out, I will leave a link uh, down below. If you guys want to check them out. Uh, perfect for those small trips. Even day, like not even camping day trips, but going to the beach or going for a drive in to wash off your feet before you get back in your Jeep. Whatever it might be. But what I recommend, what would I rate it out of? Bailey, what would you rate it out of? So, he's obviously he's wet, he's nice and clean now. I'd probably rate it out of solid. Price factor, 10 out of 10. It's a fantastic price. Uh, quality, um, this nozzle is pretty cheaply made. Uh, this here is cheap. That's cheap, it's just really cheap plastic. So I'd probably rate that probably a 4 out of 10. That could be better. The actual bag itself um, is quite thick. It's got a nice back, uh, black coating on it. The actual size of it is really good. So I'd probably rate that a solid uh, 8 out of 10. Really good quality. It's nice and thick. Doesn't look like it's going wear very fast. Um, it's nice and black on the outside so it's going to heat up. The size of it is really good, for, especially for those day trips. So out of 10, um, 8 out of 10 for that uh, quality and price. Uh, this could probably use a bit of work. Maybe some better fittings and stuff on it. It would probably last a bit longer. But for the price, it's pretty damn good. Uh, cheap and easy for those camping trips. Get yourself nice and clean, get yourself a little bit less stinky to go to sleep in the car. Anything to make camping experience um, a little bit more enjoyable, either with kids um, or your wife that doesn't really like camping that much. Anything to make it a little bit more enjoyable will get you out more, get you out more often, um, and you'll enjoy your life a little bit more. So I would highly recommend picking out one for day trips and stuff like that. But if you guys like this video, smash that like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button already. If you've got any suggestions for future videos, other camping, uh, cheap camping stuff that you guys want to see reviews on, whether they're good quality, bad quality, second hand, whatever it might be, let me know in the comments below. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.